uh, spring, one of my favorite seasons of the mall. You go outside, the birds are chirping, sun is shining. The problem is though, is that if you're wearing a hoodie, it can get a little too warm out, but then you take it off and you're wearing a t-shirt, the shade comes and suddenly it's too cold. That's why flannels are some of my favorite pieces that you can get for the transitioning weather. So I got a ton right over here. Why don't we throw them on and I'll show you guys some outfits. University. This place is just too scenic to pass on. God, this is a path that I used to take when I would go to my classes. Either way, like I said, it's abandoned right now too, so this is a good opportunity for me to shoot and just be away from everyone. Important thing here is the flannel. This is a salt and pepper button down shirt from Top Man. That's what they're calling it. And the link for it is in the description box. It's on sale right now, so definitely check it out. And I just absolutely love the colors on it and the pattern. And that's the best part about flannels, isn't it? The fact that you don't gotta spend a ton of money on brand names, all you're really going after is sort of the fit and the and, and the actual pattern itself. So without going into too much detail about flannel patterns, buffalo plaid, that kind of stuff, this is super fresh and I just love the colors and they're perfect for spring. The mix between the grays with the blues, it's sort of a salt and pepper effect as I mentioned. And then you throw on these little tan details, right? And I wanted to complement those tan details that you guys are seeing with the undershirt. So this one right here is from Amazon. It is super, super cheap and high quality. The best part is Amazon's got the best shipping systems in the world. So once again, link is in the description box for that. I appreciate it if you guys check that out. And the pants, my goodness, the pants. These are Richie Lee Collection mid-wash jeans. Um, I just love how they have this YSL sort of distressed old look to them. And I think that it, there's a bit of a beige tint to it, which complements the outfit as I mentioned. So when it comes to wearing flannels in general, some of the best aspects of it is the fact that it is, you can also pull it off as like a business casual look to it. So we'll loop back to that in outfit number two. But once again, the sneakers, I forgot to mention the sneakers, guys. These ones I only pull out for special occasions. I'm glad we're watching this with each other. So. On feet, we got the cool gray Jordan 3s. Mine are just destroyed. They're like deteriorating each time I wear them, but I just I just love the color blocking and just the, sh the shades of gray, and I think it goes really well with the flannel that I'm wearing. Um, it's really sad that they're sort of falling apart, but hey, that's what happens. They're actually 12 years old, but you know, when you mix the mid-wash jeans with the gray sneakers and you got the button up, it, everything just meshes together. So let's check out outfit number two back home and I'll show you guys some good business casual looks. Teleported back to the home office. Guys, this is where a lot of my editing and stuff goes down and uh, now because of coronavirus, this is where I've been working from home for the past month or so and I mentioned that Flannels are great and button downs are great for that business casual look. And this is the perfect opportunity if you are like me, you're working from home, or you know, maybe if you still work in an office and it's a sort of a business casual, casual type environment, this is where button downs and flannels perfectly mesh in. Um, and because this particular pattern is a bit darker, it sort of gives it a more of a formal look. So if you were Skype calling, it's comfortable. You know, if you're on those Zoom meetings, it's comfortable and yet you're still, you know, wearing a collar and it still achieves that business casual type look. This one in particular is from Mott & Bow and you'll see that with the jeans as well. High quality, affordable price. You know what, they've, they've been showing some love for me as well and I've been, and I have to show it back just because I believe in the product. So I'm gonna leave this link in the description if you guys wanna check it out. Uh, just know that, of course, I've had it in hand and I can and, and I can vouch for it. So I really do love the green and the navy vibe to it. It sort of is a great piece that you can wear in f in, in fall and for spring. Um, so that's something to keep in mind there. And then this navy denim, just by far the high, most high quality denim that I have in my in my uh, entire you know denim collection. I really like that a cheap effect where you 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 know you can cuff um, you know the bottom of the jeans as well. So it does give it that great look and. I specifically wore Converse in this in this particular fit for a reason, and that was because Converse is a great versatile sneaker. It's it, it, you can still achieve achieve streetwear looks, but you can also use it for business casual fits. So I highly recommend if you guys don't have a pair of Converse, definitely go out and buy them. You know what? 
when you get in the rabbit hole or, or on the hamster wheel in terms of buying sneakers, Jordans, Yeezys, you know, it's good to also show love, you know, to brands uh, like Converse. And if you get yourself a Chuck Taylor, of course, they never go out of style. So let's show the final and last outfit for you guys. Oh, back at the university. Now for the beginning of the video, I mentioned transitional pieces, and this is just perfect for that. This is a flannel jacket from the Richie Lee collection. Richie Lee is, of course, a fellow YouTuber. You know, he's got like a million subscribers, and I picked up part of his merch. And what I love most about this is, it, it, like I said, it's a good piece for when it gets a little bit chillier out. So, you know, because of the nylon inner lining, it's gonna keep you warm, and it's very thick and dense material, which is great for the for the price really and the most important thing here is the pattern big on pattern big pattern guy and I just love how you know you got the the standard plaid color but it's got these little subtle hits of red throughout and that's why I went and styled them with say uh, you know a black cement three and that's when you can pull out your sort of OG you know Jordan colorways you know bread ones for example is another one that I like to rock these with so um, yeah I went with the black cement threes and you know on my Instagram I actually just recently restored these they were in terrible condition I got out the paint and painted them uh, so I encourage you guys to do the same if you know if you're quarantined looking for activities to do so uh, you know if you want to follow me on Instagram you can do so at Bryce Kicks and uh, yeah these jeans that I'm wearing also are from Mott and Bow super high quality denim for an affordable price so I'll leave a link in the description box for those as well literally guys the best denim that I own and uh, yeah this is the third and final outfit Richie Lee you know I, I do like to layer it with another sweater just to fill it out a bit and I put on an elongated white t-shirt so if you guys are liking the outfit hit a like Hit a subscribe if you haven't already. Now this isn't the end of the video. I do have a whole playlist of how to style videos that you guys can go and check out. I'll leave it right over there. You guys can go ahead and binge watch those. So let me click on that. I'll meet you guys there. Let's go.